Report coming in from Raymond. But with that, there's some more exclusive corporate opinion that we are bringing you. Siemens is extremely bullish on the India business and is doubling down on the railway segment. That's the word coming in from President and CEO Roland Bush. Speaking to CNBC TV 18 Surbi, he adds that the company will add CapEx in India and will continue to bid aggressively for railway tenders. Listen in. This growth will be driven from all our businesses. Let me start with the industrial business where we are any equipping any kind of manufacturing. Um, and we equip manufacturing sites like Calva, 50 year old um, brownfield, and we transform it into a digital plant as well as new greenfield plants. What I do see in that space is more and more complex products coming into, into India. Um, talk, for example, Apple decided recently to come with uh, their, uh, their phones uh, yes. to be produced and so on and so on. We see battery manufacturing, semiconductors. This is really complex stuff. So you need technology here, which is tailwind for us. Mm. I see it also in our smart infrastructure space, which is they electrifying data centers, the energy systems, whatever. Um, that, that's tailwind, but also the buildings. 30% of the energy consumption comes from buildings. We automate buildings. Mobility, we recently won a three billion order for locomotives. Yes. Yes. The mobility makes the contribution, and that's just the start. We want to double down on that success. Healthcare too, I mean, the healthcare system is, is also expanding. So we are firing on all cylinders, mm -hmm. and I do believe we, we can achieve, uh, okay. can achieve this. Let me take up the mobility bit, because that was a big headline, right? This uh, mega order from the Indian Railways, 26,000 crore rupees, a little over three billion, as you said. Um, so, what's the strategy uh, on the railways from here on? What potential do you see? And a lot of people uh, are wondering whether Siemens will now go a little slow, be a little less aggressive because you've already got this big order in December, or will you continue to be aggressive and fire away and, and really uh, look at the at dominating the railway opportunity? So we will definitely not slow down in, okay. in, in contrast. We won't double down on our success and really do more. Okay. Uh, what about uh, exports? Again, just going by uh, earlier numbers, uh, if I look at the, the year that closed in September, the share of exports from India diminished a little bit compared to what it was, let's say, a couple of years back. So was that sort of an aberration or is that a conscious thought of focusing more on the local market? Or do you see the opportunity of making more here in India oh, yeah. and perhaps uh, exporting to other markets? No, definitely. I mean, I don't know if there's a, a little dip, it could just be a mix effect of products mm -hmm. be, um, but definitely we want to use our strengths in India with more than 30 manufacturing sites here, highly competitive. We want to use it also for global for exports. We are exporting a lot of electric equipment to Middle East, for example, to other places. Once we are once we are established with rolling stock stronger in the Indian market, I can definitely imagine that India will be one of the global hubs for metro cars, for example. So I mean, it's a, it's a it's a competitive environment. If you win there, then you can win in other places too. All right, firing on all cylinders.